Hey guys, what is up? Dreadmaster here, Redpack77. Um, and today, um, of course, it's probably Friday by the time I post this. So that means another tutorial series video. Um, I know in the last video we went over movement. Um, so today we're going to be focusing on, I think, a topic that is more requested from new players. I mean, if you're a veteran player, sometimes you may find this difficult. Um, if you're a new player, you find yourself asking a bunch of other people, maybe, how do I do this? But simple, the topic is deck building. Um, <coughs> now, deck building is very essential to know when you're creating or when you're trying to make a new deck and you're trying to win. It's important to know some of um, what you need to look out for, what's a good balance to have, what maybe your maximum unit count should be, your building count should be, um, all that stuff. All right, so first of all, let me just get this out of the way. And, no. Nope. All right, so we're going back into here, and let's see, I'm just going to... Uh, which one is this? What? Oh, I know what this was. All right, so let's get rid of this one, for example. I'll use this as an example. I'm just going to clear out all my cards. Yeah, da -da. All right. So to start out um, in any sort of deck, you need to have a plan beforehand. You need to know, okay, what do I want to play in a deck? What do I want to utilize? What should be my main focus of the deck? Um, when you're dealing with um, Viking Warlock, you tend to you maybe go obstacle. You may tend to go just a straight aggro. Um... But for now, let's work on um, obstacles, because I think that's the easiest one to do when you're working with this kind of deck. So, of course, first of all, you need to look to find, okay, what am I using in this deck primarily? What are some key aspects that I should add in immediately? Uh, for my obstacles, it's probably going to be the Lava Font. Um, yeah, da 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 Maybe multi-pillar. I mean, again, I only have one. I'm using this as an example. I'm not going to actually use this deck. Um, maybe a freezing pillar. That'll do. Um, shoot. Whoopsie. And mm, that's, that's about it for the obstacle portion of the deck. Now that you've established what you want, what is your focus in the deck, maybe combine it with synergies. By that I mean add in some support cards to, um, how do you say, kind of make it, make the deck move. Um, usually when you're working with obstacle decks, um, you're going to want to include units that have a knockback, so you could push some of your obstacles into the enemy. I mean, the deck I'm building right now is not at best for ranked. Um, I'll probably make a video after the series is over, maybe highlighting some ranked matches and uh, what I want to do in terms of a ranked deck. But we're going to keep it simple for now. This is just for, you know, all kind of people starting out. Kind of like the basics. So if I'm looking for knockback, Maybe I want to type in the filter here. Maybe I want to get units with knockback. Let's see. Let's type in a keyword. And these cards pop up. Now, what I want to do is maybe include the Earth Knight. It's very sturdy, as you can see, and it's not going to do too much damage. And maybe Ramorous. Both of these cards don't do too much damage, so they won't hurt the obstacle as much. That's important when you're making an obstacle deck, of course. But uh, regardless, I found some knockback units, so now that only puts us at 13 cards and 6 units. Um, I could add also what works well with this knockback to give it more synergy. 
are cards that deal with wind movement. Um, Viking. I'm going too far down. Here he is, wind mage. All right. So I have three of him in there because they'll move the obstacles back. Call of Wind, I wouldn't add in. As you can see, sometimes you have to make a choice between cards. You know, which one is better than the other. Uh, for Take this, for example. I have Wind Mage, or I have Hall of Winds. I realize that as long as this building keeps moving, everything going to be pushed back. I may not want everything to be moved, so that's why I choose the Wind Mage over that. It's um, a matter of choice. Alright, so... I have three more cards, but this is 16. A little side note, this building count for obstacle decks is usually higher. I would keep your building maybe around five at the max, if you have to go over that. Um, that really depends. Um, just for this obstacle deck, I would have the buildings at a higher count. Uh, what else could I add in here that might be good? You also may want to have some units that are going to be uh, tank, uh, uh, a bit tanky, that could survive longer. So that way you start getting some um, power in your deck. For obstacles, I would choose maybe Pegacorn, since the obstacles won't hurt him. As you can see, the magic and spell damage reduces to zero. That's a good thing to have in obstacle decks now, um, as a good unit. I would say if you're working on moving things because you also have these wind mages here, don't forget. Uh, I wouldn't play Kraken. No Kraxis. Um, hmm. Maybe the Kaiju. I would, I would throw the Kaiju in there. If I had more of him, I would put more in there. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What well, goes well with uh, obstacles? Maybe Sentry Golem or Swordsman. Hmm, that's a tough choice. Here's another one of the choices I was mentioning. Um, maybe in this one. Hmm, that's actually a tough choice. I might have to go with Sentry Golem on this one. Uh, you don't know if the Cleave is going to take out an obstacle, and that's not going to be beneficial if you're trying to keep obstacles alive for your opponent. Um, maybe Fencer. I like to have Fencer as a good unit. Uh, now we're kind of getting into the lower tiers. As you can see, we moved down from 5 gold and 7 gold down to 4 gold. So, by this point, I would start getting in some units that maybe aren't too high in gold cost and can be beneficial. Uh, let's see. Maybe if you're... Well, you, I don't recommend the eye. Maybe suit of armor. You're dealing with the movement again from Wind Mage. That's maybe a good thing to have. Maybe maybe two of those. I wouldn't throw three in there. That could throw off your uh, your draw. Guardian like to have. It's a good starter unit at three gold. Check some of the other factions. I haven't been looking over the other ones. Maybe we want a furnace knight. Maybe Primordial Flame. Now, at this point, as you can see, we're getting into 30 units. Um, normally, some decks have around 20. Uh, this kind of, this deck, you don't know if you want, just, I'm not really going to get rid of those. So, maybe around 20, hmm. You guys subtract one of those. Yeah, you generally want to have around 20 to 25 units. Uh, I'm keeping mine a bit higher than normal. So what you do to fill in the rest of these card slots are finding some spells, some maybe uh, useful ones, some removal maybe. And by removal I do mean uh, cards that get rid of other units, other opposing units, without having to damage your own. So I would look for the Warlocks, I would see maybe Combust, no, not Combustion. Maybe two Incinerate. Um, it's 
For bolt, you could, you could throw in Dragon's Fire, maybe. That's not one I'm going to throw in there. I'm going to keep him kind of in the low removal tier. Um, another choice here between Flame and Witch Bolt. Um, one deals more damage, but has a drawback to it. You know, your opponent gets that card. Um, hmm. Maybe Flame. Call the War, I like to throw in there for the extra units. And we have one more slot. Actually, hmm. We're gonna scrap the flame. I forgot. We could throw an Ice Blast, too. Ice Blast, I think, is a better thing. You're dealing two damage over a 5x5 five five radius area on the map, so I think that's better to have. And what else? Yeah, room for maybe one more card. I'm just trying to figure out what. Maybe I can throw them in there. I wouldn't recommend this card being thrown into a deck. I mean, it's pretty much not as effective now, but I have an extra slot, so I'm going to throw in. If I had one more Kaiju, I'd probably throw it in here, and that would probably fill up the deck. Or Molten Pillar, that would fill the deck slot. I'm going to put Nine Dominion there to fill up the deck. And as you can see, we have 27 units, 7 buildings, 40 cards. This is kind of over-exceeding the limits on both buildings and units, but I find an obstacle deck very, uh, very risky to play in general, so I kind of just made this on the fly, too, so nothing too serious. I should probably go over maybe my other decks to show you what I mean about all the synergy and whatnot, like I had this built out, um, because I was never good back then when, uh, like Greed Hotfix was launched, I told people that Greed was no longer, was weakened but i wouldn't say unplayable and this is what i mean i kind of built a deck revolving around greed as you can see here um merchant's favors for some gold count knockout and mugging to get rid of some other units Some if i want to clear out something quickly without having to deal with it i could use that treasure hunt as a little uh stat gold booster um, some Berserkers, Elvish Hunters, Guardians, and Fencers as my lower tier units. Uh, guys I could bring out early. Wind Mage for movement of um, units into one another. You know, I can move everything closer. Uh, Ice Blast is my primary removal source. Um, Swordsman, one of the bigger units. Robins, really to gain those merchants' favors so I could play things a bit quicker and earlier and in my uh, previous turns, and then uh, Rune Warrior, Master, and Fenrir as my tank kind of high removal units. As you can see, I have no buildings, 28 units, 40 cards again. Um, yeah, I think if you don't have any buildings, your unit count should be able to go higher than about 20 cards, although it is recommended that you should stay in 20 cards. Hmm. Alright, uh, uh, let's just play a quick game to show you what I mean about deck building and where these things come into place. Uh, I'm going to be focusing, you know, let's let's try the deck first. If, let's try the one I made on the fly first. If it doesn't work out, we're going to switch, we're going to, or I'm going to demonstrate why my greed works so well. So, of course, we can't do anything. Uh, we don't have any obstacles, but we should probably keep ramp. We should probably summon out Ramrus in case we do gra grab an obstacle. We're going to keep him in the back for now. Draw a card. We're going to throw out Primordial Flame, get some damage in. We're going to rush him a bit. Now, of course, the CPU is not that great when you're trying to test something out competitively. I would always recommend getting a friend to do it, but I'm just using this as a quick demonstration. Alright, let's see here. We're not drawing any of our obstacles, and the AI is not giving us much of a challenge.
Yeah, I see, like, I can just end it now. But as you can see, we drew mostly some four gold units. I mean, here's our removal. So, say if I want to just take him out without wasting my guardian. I can always just do this. And I can always just end it with the country goal. I know not the best example of, um, why decks work out so well. Um, but like I said, um... If you want to really test out a deck, it's nice to have a good set of friends list. And that's why I highly recommend, again, if you see, go to the news tab, joining our Discord or our Reddit. Um, like I said, Discord more preferably due to the fact that um, we have a um, better community. And that's it, guys. Um, that's really have all I have on deck building. If you um, if you need more help or more guidance, you can always post a comment down below. Or join the Discord. Like I said, we have some great people there, and you can get all the help you need. Um, new videos every Friday, according to the series. Um, next time, we will be focusing... I think on special card abilities, starting with Rampage. So until then, guys, stay gaming.